Hello you fellow musicians and gamers out there, this is Quina Gaming here and I'm here with part 5 of my Let's Play of Crash Bandicoot The Insane Trilogy and today we're going to start off by facing against facing off against Koala Kong. Now Koala Kong in this, oh he likes to flex, flex whenever he has an audience. Alright then, so we're going to see him flex, yeah. Oh there he is, he's flexing. Yep, there he is. Right now let's see if this works, will I be able to spin the rocks? I will, but it's a much more faster time. Oh. Yeah, of course, a much faster time, right? When's he going to throw the rock? It'll be random points, isn't it? Oh, damn it. Okay, right. That's... That's a shame. I ended up spinning the rock at the wrong time. So, okay, I died against Qualicon once. So, I remember, the once can break easily. Very fast, like that one. So I can still spin the rocks, which is good, or the bits of the coal anyway. But I can still spin, well, I think they're, well, they're rocks, so... I jump away from it. And I can hit him with the rock there. I'm curious to see what his death animation will look like after I defeat him. Now I know in the second, uh, uh, after the second, there's like two TNT crates to drop afterwards. Alright, I need to wait for the... Minecart pass by. Never gonna happen. There we go. Yeah, so just as easy as it was as in the original. I just end up screwing up on one occasion. Oh crap. Okay, right. The TNT can't harm me while it's still there. That's good. Explode, please. Thank you. Oh, good. Right. Wait for the minecarts to pass by again. Oh, damn it. Okay, I didn't hit the rock in time. Okay. I need to hit that a lot faster. Okay, come on TNT Explorer, please. Thank you. Now, throw that rock. Oh, damn it, I missed him. Just barely. Oh, wait, that minecart wasn't in the way. That's one thing I always hated about the Koala Combos was those minecarts. They always, like, got in the way quite a lot when you first played it. Okay, here we go. Do it again. Alright, wait. Once again. Go! That's it. One more hit and he's down. Yeah, what's going to change here? I'm assuming nothing. It'll just be the same. Okay. And then the mine. No, oh, damn it. Okay, I could have hit him right there and then if I hadn't delayed my spin there. And I like how they give you no Aqua Aqua Mask as well, so that way it's not too easy. Because I know that the original held your hand quite- Oh my god! Yeah, the original held your hand quite a lot, whereas this doesn't hold your hand at all. Yeah, what if I stand on the left hand side? Will that make any difference? Ah, oh, god damn it, okay right. I'm standing back on the right hand side, because clearly that worked. I cannot believe I am failing at Koala Kong already, and I'm already starting this. Right, let's tang these right. There we go. There we go. That's it. Okay, now listen, what's interesting is you can't spin that rock back straight away after he throws it at you. So you have to wait for that to get into a good position. That's changed. But I like the environment that they have here as well. It's just kind of like a Brio's uh, bonus round in this in this uh, environment here. Alright, okay, here we go. So, third hit once again. Now, can I do it this time without any mistakes or any, any uh, mishaps? Okay, and another TNT crate. Okay, throw the rock. When you're ready, right, there we go. Wait, once again. That's it. Right, final hit. Can I do it this time without dying? Here's hoping. Okay, good. Right, move. Right, and... That's it, he's down. I got him. What's he gonna do? Oh. Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> the minecart just took him for a ride. <laughs> Koala Conked. Ah, that's a very clever name right there. Koala
while I conked. Well, he got taken for a ride, let's just say that. I'm surprised that Crash didn't do his pose there. He never did his, uh, you know, two fingers up pose on each hand. He never did that. It's kind of strange. Alright, now it's time to move on to the third island. And we're going to start with Heavy Machinery. Now, I know that this level is featured heavily a lot, especially in the early videos of the NC Trilogy. So I'm looking forward to seeing it, because I've seen what it looked like in the beta build-ups. So I'm wondering what it actually looks like in today's final version. So I know I can get a clear gem here, and I've got to get two bonus rounds here. So it looks just like it was in the build-ups to this, actually. Okay, jump on this. There we go. And oh god, I knew I screwed up my jump there. I cannot believe that. I could have died right there as well. I could have hit that spiked robot there. I know that you still can't harm them. Oh, we just barely made that jump right there. Right, now if I go down here. Ah! Why did I hit that spiked robot? Okay, at least I got my Akaraku mask back. But still, that's gonna ruin my two Akarakus right there. Right, here we go. I really like the music that they've done for this. You see, when I did my clarinet cover of this, or the Let's Perform video of Heavy Machinery, I purposely used the two melodies of the original and the Insane Trilogy version together, and both of them sound brilliant together. A brilliant uh, combination, in my opinion. Both of them sound uh, musically in tune together when I played them in the Let's Perform video. But no, this level looks uh, as great as it was uh, when they first showed off in the the beta build-ups to the Ancient Trilogy after PlayStation Experience last year. And also, from what I've heard in the news as well, the Ancient Trilogy has had a very successful launch, and I'm not surprised about that, considering... And it's even knocked off GTA V off the top spot when it comes to the, uh, the game launches. Apparently, like, Crash Bandicoot is, like, the Ancient Trilogy now has officially, well I wouldn't necessarily say sold out, oh, damn it, okay, not necessarily sold out, or outsold GTA 5, but it's had a very successful launch, even better than GTA 5 anyway, according to news reports I've read, which I'm very happy about, because it comes to show you that people still care for Crash Bandicoot quite a lot, and I'm really hoping that we do get a new game after this. A Crash Team Racing remaster would be nice as well, I quite like that. But we'll need to wait and see what uh, Vicarious Versions have in mind for the future of Crash Bandicoot. So anyway, without further ado, it's time for a Tonus bonus round. And let's see if I can do this one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. I must say I'm glad they reduced this to five counts instead of it all being ten. Okay, good, I'm glad I made that one. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You can still get five even after a long jump. There we go. And that's it, all 19 boxes are collected and 106 won't be through as well. So I'm bound to get, well, not an extra life uh, because I've already got 99 lives. But I have seen, like, uh, somebody posted up a screenshot on my Facebook Apparently they got 267 lives. And I thought to myself, wait a minute, that's got to be a glitch. How can you get 267 lives? That's got to be a bug or something within the Insane Trilogy because, I mean, that's never happened from what I've heard. Okay, spin that robot away. Uh, I've got another checkpoint, that's always good. I know that the heavy machinery was always a very long level. And I'm not going to take any risks here, I'd rather ride the platform. Oh, wait, you know, I could have just easily fallen down there. See, I like the acid here. The acid looks so detailed and like it's very bright and uh, well, obviously it's green. Uh, why else would acid uh, be? Well, in, in this anyway, it's green, but obviously in real life it's in clear color. But oh well, no, that's not acid. What am I talking about? That's toxic, not acid. Oh no. Oh god, okay, I'm falling behind the moving platform here. Right there we go. Now I should be approaching the third Rio bonus token round here. I think if I remember correctly. Yes, I am. There it is, there's the portal there to Brio's bonus round. Now, let's see if I can do this on my first try. Now, I know that this one is one of the hard... Is this 
Qualcomm's revenge or something? Because seriously, I know this is the same environment, but is Qualcomm secretly getting his revenge against me with this bonus round? Finally! Good God! That took longer than I thought. Oh, right. Now we can finally end this bonus round off. Good God, that was ridiculous. It took me, I don't know how many attempts, about six or seven, maybe more than ten attempts to get this bonus round right. Pathetic on my part. Absolutely pathetic. I should be ashamed of myself. Please tell me that I am not the only one to struggle with that bonus round. I'll feel a lot better if I'm not I'm if I'm if I'm not the only one that struggled on this bonus round, because I know like a lot of people did when they did the beta version of this. Right. My god, right. Clear gem is finally done. Right. Never again see a bye Brio bonus round. Oh, that's gonna drain the energy of me doing that bonus round now. Now, when it comes to the fail montages for this uh, game, I think I'm going to include all of them in like uh, several parts probably. Or even one big video at the end of the Let's Play entirely when I've done all three games. Because there's going to be quite a lot of it. I can assure you that much. Alright, now it's time for the next level, Cortex Power. Now, I know in this one you can't get the clear gem yet because you need to get the blue gem first. Uh, as it says right there. Pardon me. Uh, getting the blue gem elsewhere, yeah, and that's in a couple of levels time is where you get the blue gem. But the next level, generator room, is the one where you've got to, oh. I like the introduction of that level. I like how Crash just does his uh, uh, thumbs up and then spins his way into Cortex power, saying this is it guys, this is the main power, the main power generator. Okay, right, I might as well get some Work through while I'm at. This level looks really good so far. It really does. I'm very, oh wow, the green the greenery of that area is so detailed, it's so impressive. I mean I'm playing this on a normal PS4 as you guys may know. I'm not playing this on a PS4 Pro. Because I don't have a PS4 Pro, nor do I intend to Oh god. It's like the game's not one me, like it's like Oh god. Oh I might get a trophy here. Oh, wait a minute. I see London, I see France. Wait a minute. Was that just for getting electrocuted? Wait a minute. I see London, I see France, I see Crash's underpants or something. Was that what the trophy was? Oh, damn it. Okay, right. Oh, I'm doing terrible at this today. What is wrong with me? Oh. Hey, right, can I get past this, please? Right. There. God, I don't know why that was so hard. I'm not going to the right just yet because uh, when I get the box gem, that's when I'll go to the right. But for now, I'll stick to the left. Oh no, get an extra life as well. I believe there's another one around here. There is. Right, I'm back to 99 lives. Right. I'm just going to go for the rest of the level normally. I'm not going to worry about the rest of the boxes yet because I need to find the blue gem first from Toxic Waste, which is two levels away. I'll probably not be doing it in this part just yet, but I'll be... Probably doing it in. Uh, I'll probably be doing it within uh, the next part, perhaps. It really depends on how I get on with the generator room. No, I think there should be two boxes. Yeah, there is. Right, I can just jump on one of these. There we go. Right, you know what? I'm gonna end the level off here because I know, if I remember correctly, you do get a trophy for missing quite a lot of boxes. So let's see if I get it. It's 30 plus boxes if I understand. Oh, it's only, oh I only missed 24. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm definitely not good. Yeah, okay, right, good speech for me. I'm definitely not good with my counting today. <laughs> Alright, I think what I'm going to do, guys, I'm not going to end the part off just yet because it'll be too short for part when I cut out all the errors I had in the Brio bonus round. So I'm going to go to the generator room. So, this is where the orange gem is, so I cannot die once again on this level. So, generator room, I can Hopefully I can do it this time without dying. It's 
Seriously, this is ridiculous. I mean, like, I understand why they've done it, because they want to, like, you know, put the challenge in, but at the same time, though, it would make our, like, it's, ah. Uh, I mean, I know it's only matter of just getting good, as most people would say. And I will get good at this. Just I'm sucking at the moment. Alright, okay, here we go. Okay, good. It registered the TNT exploding. Okay, I was more worried that it would not register the TNT exploding there. Alright, sorry I'm not saying that much, guys, but it's just uh, after all the deaths I've been through, it's kind of drained the energy out of me already on this, and I'm, uh, that's not really good. I've noticed that they did not uh, put in the... Normally, in those kind of bits, they would uh, automatically get you the one per three as there was uh, previous boxes, but that one, it doesn't for some reason. No idea why. Okay, right, let's see. Get past that one, there we go. And, uh, Tone of bonus round at the very least is easier than the Brio bonus round. The Brio bonus round for some reason was really difficult to me. I don't know why. Probably because of the ability to control my jumps and everything was just terrible. Alright, there we go. Now let's get into the bonus round. And let's do this again, shall we? There we go. See, that bonus round is uh, really easy. It really is. It's only just a matter of uh, timing your jumps right. Right, now, I'm hoping to keep this Aku Aku Mask when I get to that uh, box with between the two TNTs, and just in case I mistime the jump there again, so that way I will not end up screwing up again. Okay, there we go. That's good so far. Right. There we go. Okay, so far so good. Just need to really take my time when it comes to certain aspects of the platforming here. Okay. There we go. Right, wait till we go down. There we are. Checkpoint. Oh, okay, I just made that one again. Now, can I get past all? Oh, sorry, that's my phone going off. I, sh I forgot to put that on silent when we're before recording this. Oh, okay, right. Just made that one. Right. Oh, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Yes, right. Now, if for some reason I do miss. And I don't miss this time. Why? Oh, well, the, well at least I still keep my Aku Mask for the last section of this. So, I mean, that's, that's quite a good thing, right? Please don't miss time to jump. Okay, thank God. Right, step on that platform. And then we wait for that platform to go over the red bit. There we go. Okay, right. Final section. Can I do this? I really hope I can do that without dying. Right. And there we go. And there we go. Yes! Okay, good. And look at that. CEO, Pinch Triple A or Pinch Stripe Below Potori. And orange gem. Right, so I did all my third time. The third time seems to be a charm for these colour gems. They really do seem to be quite a, ch a charm for the colour gems there. Okay, so I'm happy. Right, okay guys, I think I'm going to end this off for now because I need to put my phone on silent and uh, I'm going to be saving the next level because the next level is where you get the blue gem. So I'm going to save that for the next part. Right now I need to take a bit of a break and just uh, ease my mind a little bit before trying the toxic waste stage. I can't wait to see what it's like though, but unfortunately that'll have to wait until the next part. So, thank you all very much for watching guys. This has been Kleiner Gibby here, uh, doing part 5 of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot, the Insane Trilogy. Uh, please feel free to like if you enjoyed this video, comment down below for your thoughts. And also please feel free to hit that subscribe button as well for more upcoming Insane Trilogy parts in the future. So until then everybody, this is Kleiner Gibby here signing off. Have a great day wherever you are, and I shall speak to you later. Till then, goodbye.